Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is another trace and clip art on calf roping. And let's say, and this came up the other day, let's say you really like this one right here, but it's a group of like five clip arts. Well, you don't have to trace them all. What I would do, and you can actually see the like a tent behind it, control D and make a duplicate. I always do that in case I mess up. And then with this item selected, take your crop tool and just crop out that one clip art you want. Make sure you got it all. There's really no way to, well, there is a way, but don't necessarily need to get that cab away. And then, well, I didn't, I didn't, I hit clear. So make sure you got it all and then crop. Now we kept our duplicate because we had it selected. Now it's already pretty small, so we're just gonna go straight to trace bitmap, outline trace clip art, and it's gonna do it a lot faster and it's gonna actually do it a lot better because you're only asking it to do the one. And then just like before in the other video, we're gonna use the, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and ungroup it and we're gonna get rid of this cowboy that we had. And then we can actually select this or get rid of it. And let's, let's take the yellow box trick and you'll be able to see the white in the, some areas go to order back a page and you can see the white between the cow's feet. So in with just this few, a little bit of white, it'd be okay, but we'll go ahead and do it and just edit query under find and replace, under edit. double click on the text part, go to your eyedropper tool and pick that white. Hopefully they'll be all the same. It's not quite a total white and then find all and then hit delete on your keyboard. Now you have a perfect clip art with the exception there's a few gray parts around him. But what I would do is it's still detailed. You could fill that in with black and then it would all be black. I, I would change up the range here a little bit you know, you can do that and we missed that gray and you need to get rid of all the interior parts so you can see yellow behind it. And I think there's one behind the calf's uh, head or between his feet. You can see it real quick. But since you have it ungrouped, you can just click on it and get rid of it. And then if you wanted to clean up something, make his tail different, all you have to do is get the shape tool and click on it and, and move some of that stuff around. Uh, maybe, you know, make this a little wider, uh, you know, use your handles, uh, get a little bit better, make this a little, you know, it's range and it's the horse's head. There's no telling he's got a tie down on. And then if you wanted to make his tail differently, uh, same thing with the shape tool you could grab. If you hold down the alt key, you'll get and you could go around all these nodes and then you could make the horse's tail longer. You could actually go, if you have X7 or above, you could get the smoothing tool. And I've got it really big, so let's make it one inch. That's still too big, 0.25. And then take the smoothing tool and smooth out that tail a little bit. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.